Today, I'm starting a draft-only rebuild in NBA 2K20. My name is Lane. We are going to do an expansion team. I have a team in mind. Let's jump right in. We are the Montreal Chipmunks. That is right. The Chipmunks are back, and they went to Canada. Now, even though the title is pretty self-explanatory, I'll sum it up real quick. The only way to make our team better is through the draft. We can re-sign our drafted players eventually. We're not going to sign anybody in free agency. We're not going to trade for anybody. Now, I know the NBA draft is only two rounds, so it's going to take us a few videos before we get a full roster of drafted players, but that's all right. In the meantime, we will have the worst free agents we can find. There is an expansion draft we're about to do in a second, but this series will come out once a week. Haven't decided what day of the week is. Probably Saturday is what I'm going to aim for. But let's hop right into the expansion draft. Here we are at the expansion draft. I should mention that each episode will be one season. The end of the episode will be before the draft. I want your help. Who should I select? Who should I get in the second round? Trade back? Anything like that. But let's go pick by pick. Who's here? Paul Millsap, Steven Adams, Porter, Dwight Howard. Interesting. We're going to switch this around. Go to the bottom of the list and select 14 guys. So here is what our team looks like. The highest overall is a 70 overall. Not too concerned about that. But I'm going to sim the season now and see how we do. So here is what the playoffs look like. The Rockets have the number one seed in the West. The Sixers have the number one seed in the East. Let's get to simming. Find out who's going to be the champion. Now where are the Lakers? The Lakers have the number three seed. The Clippers are in there as well. That makes sense. The Bucks are about to be the Raptors, which they just did. The Sixers move on. The what? The Hawks move on. I almost said the Falcons. Need to kind of lay off that football. What's it going to be? Maybe charge. Oh, charges. I keep doing it. It's the Clippers versus the Jazz. Now it's the Sixers versus the Jazz. And the Sixers are the champions. Ben Simmons is the finals MVP, averaging 32 points a game, 14 rebounds. Tyson Chandler retired. Haslam retired. Nene retired. Here we are at the draft lottery. And that's right. You don't get the first overall pick automatically. So we have a 14% chance at getting the first overall pick. So let's hit next and see who's going to get number 15. I don't really know if I want to go pick by pick, but I think it add a little more intrigue to this. Now, I think we're in the range where our pick might come up. So we're not getting pick number six. That is fine. They give you like a random fact, which I just don't like to see. The Wizards, number five, who's going to be? It is the Wizards. That is fine. Let's get over that. I'm not really concerned about that. Prediction, the Heat to get the fourth overall pick. And we got the fourth overall pick. Is that some sort of joke? Really, we've never picked number one overall. Uh, no. Yeah, I understand. It's really unbelievable how we get the fourth overall pick. I know that's how it works in the NBA, but I should get a better, like, odds of getting the first overall pick. We had six wins. So since we have the first overall pick, I don't really know how much we should worry about Jeffries or Bird or Lambert. So let's start with Ed Jamison. He has B minus offense, D plus defense. It says he projected to go pick number 12. Where's pick number four? Right here. Pavic. He has D plus offense, B minus defense, B plus overall. What is he? He's a center. I don't know if I really want to take a center. Do we want to build in and out or out then in? I don't really know. Where's pick number five? Right here. Seth Harris, B offense, D plus defense, B plus overall. We could set up a draft board. I don't really know how needed that is for this game. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to get Jeffries. He seems like he'll be pretty good. Bird, B-plus offense, C defense. Lambert, B-minus offense, C defense. All right. What about Steven Richards? C-plus offense, C-minus defense. I really don't know what to do with this pick. You guys should let me know down in the comments below who you think I should take. I guess we actually should go pick by pick. Can we get to the draft yet? The combine's there as well. I'm not really interested in the combine or the pre-draft workouts. So let's go to the draft. The Grizzly selected Jeffries. That is fine. I wonder who the Matt... Can we... Oh, we can enable manual draft. I want manual draft. What are we doing here? Who are the... What was it? The, the Mavericks are on the clock. 
They took Don Daniel, this uh, the small forward. And the Heat are going to select Marcus Gaines. All right, can we go to my pick now so I can give you guys some sort of an idea of who I should take? Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to actually make my pick. Let's see. We can go with Bird. We can go with Lambert. Bird actually might be the move right here. B plus offense, C defense, maybe. Jameson doesn't really look that bad. I don't really know, though. Then we have Steven Richards. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Should I take Bird? Should I take Lambert? Should I take Jameson? Now, this is going to be an experiment with this series. I've obviously never done one of these in NBA before. Obviously, the first draft only rebuild I did was Madden 19. I had the Madden 21. But now that I look at it, apparently I can't go to the draft and see how it plays out. So you guys are going to have to let me know way beforehand. So let's get Troy Bird. Let's see what he's all about. He's 6'10", 232 out of Oregon. I wish it would tell us their overalls, but I guess not. Now, we're not going to sign this guy, but it's very interesting. He signed to an overseas team for three years, so we have his draft rights until he comes over. I'd love to see that maybe a few years down the line, but I'm not going to do it right now, obviously. With our pick, we are going to select CJ Mann, the center. Let's take him. He's 6'11", 247 out of Wyoming. I don't really like that you don't see their overalls, but I'm assuming we can find out about that in about two seconds. Look at that. Aggressive, tenacious, relentless. All words I've heard in recent days to describe CJ Mann's defensive abilities. I love it. So Bird is an 80 overall, which I absolutely love. And Mann is a 72 overall. That's not that bad for a second round pick. But that is going to be it for this video. Next episode, we'll start off by giving them contracts and then see how we do next year. But if you like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.